Okay, this is uh, number 16. We want to find all the uh, solutions, uh, all the uh, rational solutions. The equation has solutions. Find all the solutions. Solution x equals 2. Read your problem. So this is what we have. Let's just take a look at this. So we know that this is one of the solutions. It's a cubic. We don't have a, to our, uh, you know, we don't have a way of solving a cubic, but we can solve a quadratic. But if we know this is a solution, we know that if we use synthetic division, the two will divide in evenly. There will be no remainder because it is a root. And this will give me the coefficients of my reduced equation. So again, we divide, we bring down our 12. 2 times 12 is 24. 1, 2 times 1 is 2, negative 1, negative 2. That checks out. And then this is going to be my reduced equation. 12x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. So once we know a root, of the cubic, we can reduce it to a quadratic, and then we just use our quadratic equation, or quadratic formula. <clears throat> minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. And this is what we end up with, negative 1 plus or minus, and that's 4 times 12, 48. Negative times negative is positive, 49, so it works out real nice, plus or minus 7, so we can we have nice rational roots. So again, I'm just using the quadratic formula, so you can see the work here. It's pretty straightforward. So negative one plus seven is six over twenty-four is uh, one fourth, and negative one negative seven is negative eight. So that's negative one third. So those are your two roots. All right. So sixteen a was pretty straightforward. Take a look at that. And I think that all makes sense. Okay, this is x. All right, and then 16b. Now, they didn't give us any uh, one of the solutions on this one, so this is a little bit harder. But we can use the rational root theorem. Remember, if we got a polynomial and all the coefficients are, you know, real numbers, then, actually, in this case, integers, what we could do is we just take the, these are all my possible rational roots. Now they tell us on the problem that it says solve for x and it says all solutions are rational and between plus or minus one. So between not equal to. So you can kind of eliminate that. So remember the rational root theorem. Remember all the possible factors of the uh, numerical term all over all the possible factors of the coefficient of the highest degree term. So I've got plus or minus 1 over all the factors of 12. So 12, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And plus or minus 1 over that, all the factors of 1. So those are my possible solutions. Now I, I look at this. Remember Descartes' rule of signs, we only have one sign change. That means I, probably, I have one positive real root. So I'm going to just try positive numbers first and hope that, that I kind of strike pay dirt that way. So I'm going to try positive 1 12th, 1 6th, 1 4th, 1 3rd, 1 half. I don't have to worry about 1 because it's between 1 and negative 1. So I did all the work over here. And you can see the work. And you probably wouldn't like to do all this stuff, but you have to do it. And you can use synthetic division with fractions. That's all right. That'll work. So 1 12th. So I bring down your 12. That becomes 1. That becomes 9. 1 12th of 9 is 9 twelfths, which is 3 fourths. So that's minus 1 fourth. And, no, didn't work out evenly. So then I'll try 1 sixth, and I do the synthetic division with 1 sixth. 12, 1 sixth of 12 is 2, that's 10, that's 2 thirds, that's 10 sixths. And if I subtract, I get positive uh, 2 thirds, no. Okay, then I try 1 fourth. So bring down the 12, 1 fourth of 12 is 3, that's 11, that's 11 fourths, 7 fourths, etc. And I'm working with all the fractions, but it works out. I mean, you, I mean, it doesn't work out to a solution, but no, that would be my remainder, but it doesn't work out evenly. Then I go to 1 third, and I bring down my 12, 1 third of 12 is 4, 8 plus 4 is 12, 1 third of 12 is 4 again. Negative uh, 1 plus 4 is 3, 1 third of 3 is 1, aha, 0. So that worked out. So this was my one of my possible roots, one third. This is the reduced equation, 12x squared plus 12x plus 3. I set that equal to 0. 
and I just want to find the other roots. So now I can divide everything by three. That's okay, because I'm just looking for the roots. And I'm going to use the quadratic formula. A is 4, B is 4, C is 1. So I put this in the quadratic formula. X equals minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4ACL over 2A. Make those substitutions in. And what happens? Well, I've got 16 minus 16 is 0. So I actually have a double root because my radical, my plus or minus radical zero is out, so I end up with negative four over eight, or negative one half, and that's a double root. So those are your three roots. One third, negative one half, and negative one half, that's a double root. So you have to do this little tedious work of the synthetic divisions and using the rational root theorem to get your first root, and then you're in business after that. Okay, that was number 16.